Yeah. It's six o'clock, so we're going to go ahead and get our meeting started. We're going to start our play. I'll ask Commissioner Patton to do the invitation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Father in heaven, we come before your uh, throne this evening. Ask your blessings upon us as we enter into this meeting. Ask your blessings that we make decisions for the citizens of this uh, community. May we try to gain our knowledge and use wisdom in making a correct decision that would be beneficial to most to all parties and, and concerned. Bless us that we live for one of this earth. May we always do things that would be pleasing to you, that would be pleasing then to all mankind. During this pandemic time, Father, we ask you to give us patience and give us good thought to always consider our man, fellow man and our decisions and how we behave that all people can be well and that they might be quickly resolved and over. These things and all things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome everybody out tonight. First item though, we'll get started is the approval of minutes. I make a motion we approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second for the discussion. Does the say about that? Aye. Uh -huh. uh, motion passes. Now on to the bills. Make a motion that we pay the bills. Second. We have a motion and a second for further discussion. Does the paper say about that? Uh -huh. Oh, same. Uh -huh. Motion passes. Old business. Item one is approved the second reading of the 2020 tax rate ordinance. I think everybody got the packet. Same as what it was last month for the first reading. I move through the second reading of the 2020 tax rate. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Was there a fair statement about that? Uh, uh, post same. And uh, approval. Well, now you know you got ADD sister over here trying to do this. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Not used to that. I know. Me either. Oh. <laughs> All right. Next item is to approve the second reading of the Code of Ordinance 2019 2020 ordinance. And that's just the second one where we have to update the book for Frankfurt's. We make a motion that we accept that second reading. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Does the favor see about that? Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Under new business. First item is Halloween curfew. I think it's been at 7 o'clock, hasn't it? I think we've got it set permanently at 7. No, we didn't know we that for sure. It was permanent. Isn't that, isn't that right, Mary? We did that? Yes. What, a number of years ago? Yes, yeah, several years ago. Okay. It's yeah, it's 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 been been mm -hmm. Okay. Grant for Oldham Ballpark from Walmart. Uh, I, think that's, that's, I think maybe with that on air. Maybe just have discussion with what Walmart's thinking about doing. Well, I knew what Kevin said he thought Walmart was going to do something, and uh, but Amy was concerned because we've already this police department. I think you've already gotten a grant from Walmart this year, haven't you? I heard Amy correctly. Maybe it's more from Owensboro. Well, what's part of Evansville? The yeah, maybe it's going to try, uh, and they called Amy and was going to try to help her write that okay. grant. So. She's in the process of doing it. What you say this afternoon? I can add a little bit to that because actually, um, Mike Durham, who used to be the manager out here, he called me because we used to work together a lot. And it's more of a district thing. Um, they're wanting to go in and help parks such as that to rebuild, invest back into the community. So it, it would be different than just okay. our local Walmart. That's it's what we didn't know. Like high up there, I talked to Mike and then another guy. He was on the health and something committee for Walmart. I think he's a pharmacist, is what he is, but he has this title on the committee. I, I thought Kevin would be here tonight and would know. He would know more about it because I started out, but I passed it over to Kevin since he's I think it's saying like $7,000, $7,500. $7,500 is what I was told. I think Amy just want to put it in a minute that we're going to apply for it just for Yeah, we can go ahead and approve the apply for it and see what happens. Okay. You've the motion? Yeah. I move to apply for the Walmart grant. Second. 
And uh, we want to specify that this would be earmarked for Alderman Barber. We have a motion and a second for the discussion. Those in favor, say about that. All right. All right. All same. Motion passes. Uh, and I do have a couple items I'm adding under new business. One is I'd like to put up Tony Met to be considered as the Beaver Dam, one of the Beaver Dam representatives to the Planning and Zoning Commission. Nancy's been after it for some time. I think this will have us a full slate for Beaver Dam on there. I'm going to report Tony Met into the Planning Room. Second. We have a motion and a second for the discussion. Does the paper see anybody with that? Uh -huh. Both same. Motion passes. And the next item, where I'll let you talk about is the, what we were talking about on the sewer. The one on uh, Taylor Street? No, the clean outs. Yeah. yeah. We have a uh, resident here in town that we've had two for, I uh, guess, the last couple of weeks. The, they've taken their clean out cap off their sewer line. And where is this? Uh, Taylor Street. Taylor Street. Uh, taking their cap off the sewer line and raw sewage is going in the ditch. Mm -hmm. uh, we had talked to the homeowners or to the renters and they said it wasn't their issue, they wouldn't have any problems. Uh, the health department was called into it and I would like for the city to see if we could pass an ordinance uh, stating that, you know, after we give them notice of, of an issue and if it's not correct within 24 hours, 12 hours, whatever we set forth, that we, uh, we can disconnect the water service. I've talked to KLC today about that very thing to see what we could do. And they said, we, we can do that. Uh, their suggestion was like, with the sewer clean out covers removed to relieve sewer backup, you know, due to a block, blockage on the private line. They said the city would need to be contacted prior to remove the clean out cover, because you know, it's happened before. But uh, the city had to be contacted before that cover's removed, because when that stuff's coming back out from the yard, we're gonna be prepared to, to re, uh, uh, mediation on rem, remediate on it. Who removed it? The homeowner? <coughs> or just been removed? So, but, and like what he said, if, the cover, if they contact the city, then, you know, they've got 12 hours to have from contacting us to get something done on it, or we'd have to turn the service off. But we've also been having trouble with them just doing it and maybe leaving it off for days at a time. So there's a second thing that we can put into effect that if that is, if we find one removed without the city's consent, start out with like a $500 fine and then maybe the second fence after that would be a $1,000 fine because of the safety and health and welfare and environmental issue this causes. But that would go with the property, to the property owner, whether it's a homeowner or a homeowner. Mm -hmm. The renter took the cap off, we assume. But they said they didn't know anything about it, they pleaded ignorant? We, we, well, we don't know who took the cap off, and he acted like he didn't know either. That's what I thought was okay. And the landlord had no clue either? Or contact we have not contacted the landlord to my knowledge. What happened? We? Do what? I ha what happened? We kind of uh, We went and bought a cap and put it on there before they kind of take it off. Well, I'm not going to say, it sounds like the landlord might need to be involved in this. He may be one of the responsible for some of that. Mm -hmm. But if this is something we're trying to have a problem with, I'm not saying necessarily to do anything about it tonight. This is two options we're looking at. Yeah. I'd like to see AB write us one up for next month. Yeah, we need to do something about that. This is, that's just not something to do. Yeah. Especially when we're trying into that. that waterway. If it's running out into your yard, it's bad enough, but if it's running into a waterway that's going into more waterways, that's, that's really, really bad. Mm -hmm. To all the neighbors, all the way around. <coughs> Is everybody okay to get that set up with baby to work on that? Mm -hmm. Okay. James, do you have anything? I was going to ask Larry, uh, could you update us a little bit on the well? Yes, I was hoping to have some more information. Uh, we had a, a phone conversation. Uh, the well, they feel comfortable with will pump a uh, 65 gallon a minute, which is going to be roughly 93,000 gallon a day, which is about 25% less, depending on the county water district. Uh, there's a chance that it could pump more, up to 110 gallon a minute. Uh, the only fear that I would have on that would be stressing the well too much. Yeah. So. 
I think what we're going to shoot for is, is putting a larger pump in it to where we can throttle back and we'll, we'll do some uh, static uh, water residuals to see if we're holding its own. You know, if, if, we, if we can get around 80 gallon a minute, you know, it's going to be about 40% less dependent. Man, that's, that's great. That's great. I haven't had an opportunity to talk to you about it. It's been a busy weekend. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have anything other than I wanted you guys to hear that report because you talked to me yeah. the other day a little bit and it, it just was good news, good news. Same. Well, I don't really have anything, just something that I was going to make note for the record, but since I'm the one stuck taking the minutes, I don't know. <laughs> but there was a comment that was made that while meetings are open to the public, we act like we welcome input and it's not what has been experienced in the past we always welcome input we try to honor anything that citizens ask for as we can of course it's more than just the citizens sitting in front of us we've got a whole bunch of people in beaverdam that we have to take into consideration but the decisions are made right here not in a behind closed doors before the meeting ever starts. I mean, you all saw when I came in. <laughs> and that's usually when I'm coming in. So I just would like to say that um, because, yeah, we're a city commission and we're here for the residents and we do listen to the residents and we do make the decisions in our meetings. Well, I'd have to say, following that kind of thing, but I do have something we need to use it in closed session. <laughs> but they have to deal with personnel, and that's one thing by law we cannot discuss in open session. Exactly right. Okay. Um, one thing I would like to throw out is, and uh, Cindy Miller contacted me earlier, I was not going to be able to be here tonight, but I want to uh, give kudos to and hats off to all those who've done so much work down at Old Park. Uh, mm -hmm. They've spent a lot of time down there, a lot of effort, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. And, it's looking good too. Happy for that. I, I've been down there with them. Of course, I couldn't do much, but I did about 30 hours worth of tractor work on the field and the volleyball place for them. And anytime I've been down there, Cindy's been down there working when no one else has been. And it, it's been a good crowd down there working. It's, it's been very good. Very good. Larry, uh, yes. Uh, I'd like to say that uh, the carry all and the dump truck that we had listed on Good Deal so uh, the carry all brought twelve hundred twenty five dollars and the dump truck brought sixteen hundred forty five dollars. I guess when you put that in minutes there you may need to That's what I was going to say. You want to give that to me? Yeah. Just write it down later? Yeah. Okay. I told you, you get some there with ADD taking notes, they forget they're taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably can read yours is a good thing. I don't know about it. I should have been a doctor. Uh, something we're, we're fixing to start doing here in the near future is uh, we're going to be checking restaurants for grease traps. We're having some grease issues with restaurants, so uh, <coughs> I think we may have a couple that has that does not have a grease trap. Uh, so you may be getting some phone calls when we go in. It's in our ordinance that we can you know we, we can check yearly, we check you know, quarterly to see when they're properly cleaned and maintained. So uh, we're of adequate staff now. So. I'm sorry, Shaker. Uh, that's all that I have at this point. Mine? Yeah, I'm fine. Everybody's good. Pizza? Okay. David? No, I'm good. Charlie? No. I'm just quiet. <laughs> okay, let's start up front. Do you have anything? Nothing, nothing really to say. I just, uh, I appreciate Beaverdam. Beaverdam is really kind of a beacon of economic development in, in Ohio County, and I'm happy to watch you guys in action. And thank you for everything you do. Thank you. Good, Miss Linda. Yes, I have. One of them with the speed and the people were coming through. They sort of took care of some of the issues. They're not as bad as they were. But we still got a few that still want to come speeding back. The roads are falling in from the sides, breaking off. A car 
went by fast the other day and it sort of like almost ran off the road because the road is falling in. It's in several places. It's got a big split down the road. You can see it from 231, clean on the down to, I guess, to the bridge hit by where the park is starting at. And, and down there by the hill where the church is at, all that is done caved in. When they put the sewer in, we lost about two feet on the east side of the road. And it made it smaller. So now it's dangerous even, you can't walk on it, that's for sure. And it's making it even worse in the sense it's breaking off. Another concern is our, we have a school bus that comes through there. And if that road breaks off with that school bus, we're gonna be in some trouble. And, and plus, where they put the, they've been up for several times, this little area. The yards or something is sinking in. They put some concrete in there about uh, six feet or more. It sunk in, we don't know where it went. It just went in, it's old on. It's drawing like sinkholes. And I don't know if it's because of the uh, sewer or not. It, it, on either side, it doesn't have any kind of a cupboard or re rebar, anything to hold that up. And now the yard trees and everything is leaning. Everything, the trees have went in the ground maybe three or four feet. And it's holes all, all through there. And the foot of the hill is another one. And right. down under the hill is some holes coming in the yard there. And now they're pretty deep. And you said this is by the church, Linda? Yeah, one of them by the church and the other is up there where I live at. And that's where, that's where they worked on it a lot. It doesn't have anything, it was a long time ago before it was even a two-lane road, it was used to be a one dirt road. And, when, and it had buttons, I, buttons, I call it concrete buttons, you know what I'm talking about, don't you? Mm -hmm. Well, it had those up there, had them on each side, but they took them down. And without holding that up, or we don't have nothing to hold it up. So either the yards, I know the yards that fell at least three or four feet. Because hmm. everything was level. All the road was level. Because that we didn't have any ditches. We didn't even have water through there until 1967. So we didn't have any, we didn't have no ditches. The, the road was our yard. And when they went by and put the, you know, put all that in, it just is tearing up everything. It's just tearing literally. And the roads are, the roads are crumbling and tearing all the pieces. And and the, and, and is there any way that we could get maybe sidewalks or something? Well, the sidewalks I know were discussed August or some point when, when David came in. And we told him it's it's the cost of it is what's got us on it. I did some checking after he came in on that. Bruce School Road's about a little over 3,700 foot long from 231 to Liberty Road. Mm -hmm. And you're talking a cost right there. Well, could you, okay, could you just make, stop started at a, maybe a different location where the most people is at or something? Instead of going even to 231 at the end? Or maybe take it all the way down to the railroad track? Because you got the park past the, the bridge, that would help some, because mm -hmm. you can go to the park through that way, couldn't you shorten it? Well, we check, but you're looking at about, not counting any engineering work, you're looking at about $200,000 to put a sidewalk in. What about funds? And that's that's where the problem lies. And that's like what I told uh, David when he was here before, with the exception of Main Street, and uh, we do have a couple of second, third, fourth, some of the, the couple blocks in the old, old parts of town mm -hmm. where those sidewalks were put back in in the 30s. And actually, they're not even city sidewalks. They're on the property owners, you know, off the right of way. Well, we never had any, so we don't know about yeah, that. Well, I don't, I don't have them in my neighborhood. We didn't exit the city until 1981 or 82. Okay. So that was it. It was enough money to do that, but it took 165000 to put on the sewer up there. That's supposed to be for our grant money for the Bruce School Road Ranch. So when, that's not a lot of that. Uh, when, when was that, uh, Ms. Hunter? In, 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 uh, we started in 79 and 82, I think they finished. But in, in around about 80, 81, I think Mayor Harris was the mayor then. And they took 165000 of the money and put it on the sewer. And then did some work on the city building too with that grant money. But is it any way that they could widen the road any? Maybe. 
again, two or three feet on each side. I can't say without enough distance. Maybe some, we'll look into it. I'd be happy to look into it. Maybe something we can look at. I don't know. All ditches would have to be moved. We'd have to move all the ditches. We'd have to, we'd have, to have five to ten feet of additional property for homeowners. I mean, if they want to give up five to ten feet of their yard for us to move everything back. Well, I don't got, what, what is the state anyway? Ten feet? Well, from the middle to 20, right? Well, a bridge so road, bridge road set up is It wasn't being that one. Center line, that much. center line ditch, center line ditch, but if you, if you want to move this, the road about two or three foot on each side, the ditch has got to be pushed back into your yard. So are you willing to give up some of your property for this to happen? And people are willing to because if you don't, you're going to get killed. I mean, if, if everybody's willing to give up property, I mean, it's something the city can look at. Yeah, because we wouldn't have had that problem. I don't know why they dug the ditches out in the first place. We didn't even have towels to go through half of them. On the other side. Where Jones is at. Never was a towel there. Somebody, let me see that. I'm going to go back and tell you who it was. Uh, mm, the boy used to work at City. He dug it out. He dug it out on both sides. We didn't even have any, any uh, driveways on the other side. He dug it out uselessly, I thought. Because when he did it, it took from, it took from the strength of the road when he did that. They went down the road they should have dug none out. That should have even touched. Because now that's causing a lot of that to fall in. Washington. We go to church, you swing out, you're going to either wreck your car with it, and people can't drive through that road. Because it's at least two or three, two or three feet short on each side. They it's even shorter. I, I knew that we were having some problems. I know Mike has been checking in on the, the speeding down through mm -hmm. there. Did the uh, camera thing help any? Well, yeah. I mean... It, Everybody look, stops when they see it. We still got them. They still sneaking through, doing it. And like I said, you can't go out to your mailbox, get your mail, or get run over. You can't even want to get out the driveway at time. And like I said, walking, we don't have street. So therefore, if you need to walk, you know, like I said, it should be able that we can walk without them walk 50 and 60 miles an hour through there. Because in like 2018, my niece, was on the in the driveway. Some girl came out 50, going about 50 miles an hour, hit her, knocked the 40 feet. She had to be airlifted to Vanderbilt. That was because people speeding. They didn't do anything about it. Now the girl's still having medical problems, and it, it needs to stop before somebody. And then we had another guy that was walking. He got hit, I think, by maybe a police officer. I'm not too sure, but I think they said maybe a Hartford police officer. He got hit, and they didn't, they didn't even know they hit the board. So we're dealing with stuff like that. Street lights ain't no good. They, they don't shine enough, and they ain't in the right places that you need them at. Can you know to check on street lights, too, and see? And those new ones they got. Uh, what do you call those? LED. Little bitty small things, they ain't got enough light show nothing. I'd rather go back to the old ones because they put out enough frame light to see. We got dark areas there that you cannot see anything. We had a pastor that used to work walk five o'clock in the morning. He uh, he can tell you he like to got hit almost every day. Every day. Because you cannot see him in places. And and then it too, the road is not is not wide enough. When they when they redone it, they shortened it even more. Was that part of the sewer project in 1981? No, that was with lately. That was a sewer port main regional sewer. That was the last ah. one. You, you put one in in 80, but you put one in what? Yeah, we did. Regional sewer. Yeah, well, regional sewer. GWR or whoever yeah. put one in. And why did they put two sewers down in one row? Why didn't they go through Chick Road like they supposed to? Did they stop that or something? We tried to. That's a good question. That's a good question. But, but why did they put two down our roads and they know we couldn't accommodate two with the condition of our road and with the shoulders being like it were? Well, why did they do that? Te technically, on your on Bruceville Road, there's on, only one sewer line that any of the residents can tie into. It's a gravity line. That other one that they put in, the regional wastewater put in, is <coughs> it's what they, it's a force main. It's where they're bringing the sewer in from out the industrial park and pumping it all through there. Well, why did they run the Chick Road instead of our road if we had one? You know, we there was the, there were some people asking about trying to get them to run through Chick Road. Uh, there was a number of people asked, why not bring around Liberty Road from out by Minute Mart, Liberty Road all the way around to open all that up for development. But that I well, can't they, I can't they, answer why they so did. So they voted against it. 
Well, we told we didn't want one either because we knew what the consequences was going to be if they did that. And I'm not sure why they picked no school. We, we argued against it, we did, but we didn't well, have a decision. We did too, but they went on anyway because we knew that the road could not accommodate. I talked to, uh, oh, what you call them people? Uh, I talked to one. He said it did good to hold one, let alone put two down there. And without any reinforcement or whatever I call governments or whatever you call them, what they think. He said it, he don't know why they did that because they said it ain't even sufficient. Because so that's the reason the yards are tearing up and, and holes are becoming was that trees one of the, sinking one in. One worker said that that was doing No, that. I, we talked to a, what do you call these construction workers that does yeah. this stuff? Well, the, now, Larry, I may be wrong. Is that man, that's sort of main, this main sort of like Bruce Road's under the pavement, correct? Correct. Right. Both of them are oh, the down under the pavement, too. Both of them are the yeah. But have they have had been up there quite a few times trying to get it working right. Because it had a big hole coming in the middle of the road. They had to get that fixed. So it ain't a, it ain't an easy task, but I, I like I said, if Chick Road didn't want we didn't want it either because Chick we, Road we, could, we could we couldn't accommodate it. So why'd they throw it off on Chick us? Liberty and Chick Road both wanted it. They wanted it. Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because that it would put up a sewer line. That would put a sewer line too. I mean, they would have had easy pumping it into it, but yeah. it would have opened all that up for development. Well, that's good. You talk to the state people and the regional people. The regional wastewater people. Mm -hmm. <coughs> We're going to check on the road. I'd like to know what the width is of it, just so we can have that for the record. It's safe in the web. Okay. And then. Uh, we will look to see. I don't know what kind of costs will be involved, and it's, we'll take a little time. But we'll be happy to look to see what can be done and what kind of, like I say, costs will be involved with it, because that dictates a whole lot of what we can do. But uh, we can look, check on the street lights and on the holes you were talking about. Yeah, because they get pretty. It's, it's dangerous. Because see, we on at the foot of the hill where the church is at. We the school bus stops there, and it keeps cracking. We don't know what it'll happen if the car is passing, the kids is on the street while the bus is going through. That's a that's a lot of tonnage on that road, and it's going further on out to the center of the road. Is what it's breaking up up by up where they put the sewer in, and they did a lot of work up there. They were quite a bit. It, it it's 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 falling in because it's nothing on either side to embrace it. Nothing. Maybe we can look at some things, some uh, outside of the box a little bit on some ways to. Brace that up too. So I won't promise you how quickly we do anything. We'll start looking into it, well, see what can be than, done. Well, it's better than nothing. So, you know, <laughs> I you can't do everything overnight. At least you're willing to give it a try. Yes, to, you don't see what we can do because, like I said, we don't have that many. Most of some of us are seniors, and we do like to get out and walk without getting hit by a car. And I will ask Mike. Or I know falling off in a ditch or something like that. You know. Right. I know y'all are beeping up patrol up through there a little bit. Like I said, we thought maybe putting that on you know, the speed sign up. Well, you know, I'm going to tell you it's in the wrong place. It don't belong down there. Because if the cars is coming from Beaver Dam, from down here, uh -huh. they don't pass it. They usually come in from here going through that way. Oh, is it? Maybe going to Young's and 231 and other. Yes, that's where they're that I'll take responsibility for that. My understanding was the people leaving Young's coming through there. No. The other way. No, this little red car in Young's, no, she may go out to Young's, but it's a gold PT Cruiser or something. It's a red car. A little red one, a PT. I got I got it down. She's going by so fast you can't even get her on, even on the video. She's going that fast. Well, maybe we can switch that thing. And you need to be switched because it ain't so much young. Because if you could put it up there, it would be a good place to put it up. You know, remember where the little homeless church used to be at? By young. I think so. enough room to put one right. there okay. to pick up everything. I think that would be a good location to put it facing down towards. Well, I say, I'll take one because I was telling Mike that what I was hearing was people coming through, it was people leaving young's going out the back way. And that's. What we were trying to get down on the hill where it wouldn't be as noticeable until they're well, on Well, see, the thing about it, they only get it, they only come out maybe, what, 3.30? 3.30, yeah. Okay, these, this, these cars are running all, maybe, all during the day, two or three times a day through there. Where are they going at that they got to be running from down here to 2.31? That fast, that is. Like, they got to be back in enough time. They, some of them are not going to Young. Okay, well, like I said, I thought it was the traffic leaving Young, so we'll get mm -hmm. that moved around and check that out for you. We'll take okay. care of that.
So All they'll right. get back with And like I said, the holes do need to be checked. Because I don't think they're mole holes. Mole holes, it wouldn't tell where you see the roots of the trees there. Wouldn't, it wouldn't be. Okay. That's too deep. Well, we'll get someone on Okay, so that's that's all I have. To Thank you, Linda. Appreciate it. Thank you, Linda. Mm -hmm. Mike. Yeah, I mean, I'm here to ask about the trash pickup. Um, maybe it may be a misunderstanding on my part. So I'm, my understanding is that we're only about six trash bags, and I, I say that because I've been looking at my neighbor's trash bags at my mailbox since Tuesday, when the trash pickup didn't pick them up because he had quite a bit of trash out there. So I understand y'all made y'all change kind of the rules on trash pickup. So my question is, is that I mean I usually have six to ten, thirteen gallon trash bags normal day. Um, sometimes it's fewer, sometimes it's more. And if it's six bags, I mean I'm I'm gonna have a really difficult time meeting that. And even if it's six thirty gallon bags. I mean, I don't, make, I don't think it makes sense for me to go put two 13-gallon bags and a 30-gallon bag so I just have one bag for the gentleman to pick up. So I don't, I'm not sure if I understand the, what the rules are around the trash pickup, if those changed. And um, I also have another question about leaf pickup as well, um, a comment to make for you. Okay. Well, the, the garbage came about, when we talked about it August, maybe? about we were having places where there would be you know one or two bags and we would have places there would be 15 20 25 bags mm -hmm. our tonnage went up from an average of about 23 to 24 ton a week correct me if i'm wrong last year to by january of this year which was even before covid so it wasn't like it was everybody being in but it went up to about 33 or 34 ton a week of course we we have to pay city taxpayers are paying for all that tonnage as it goes out there Right. We're not sure if it's being brought in from people out of town leaving it. I, we're not sure what's going on, but we knew we had to come up with something to try to get a handle on it. And we don't know that we, I'm the first to admit, I don't know that we've come up with the right plan. We're just trying something to, to try to get a start. Uh, we've talked to several other communities around. Uh, we've gotten everything from someone that'll take four bags to uh, some people that uh, I think one town we talked to, they require their residents to buy a 94 gallon tote and you're allowed to take whatever that one tote will hold it's x amount of dollars a month if you want a second tote it's an extra five or six dollars a month and a third tote or whatever i hate to ask i understand not when people are buying totes, buy totes. I, I mean, we we talked about yeah, maybe the city yeah. buying totes ourselves um, and which is again taxpayer money that i hate to use but then of course then you'd have to have a deposit on that just like anything else because when somebody moves the totes gone and everybody's out so we really don't know what the best way to do this is just yet, and we're just trying to walk along and get through to see what is working. Fine. So uh, are are you actually are you at least guiding the people picking up the trash to pay if it's not excessive? To well, go ahead and, and take it. That or? was our that was our plan. You know, we've talked about it's like if you get out here somewhere and it's like okay, there's. Six bags here, and okay, maybe there's a small one and a small bag or something. If you can pick it up and grab it, we're going to grab it, or the plan was. But now we're being videotaped when we go places to pick up garbage. And they're like, oh, not only did they take my six bags, they picked up this box they said they weren't going to pick up. So it's like, okay, guys, if we're going to be videotaped, we're just going to take the six bags. And I don't like doing that. I like to have a little bit of leeway. Right. For example, we've got December, Christmas coming up. The week after Christmas, we're going to have more than six bags at most houses. Probably not any more tonnage to speak of because it's wrapping paper and cardboard boxes. Right. And, and that's the kind of stuff, you, you, you try to be lenient. And again, I don't know what the answer is on that and we're still looking, we're still talking and we're still open to suggestions and ideas. And when we first talked about it, we, we were tossing it around we said, we, we'll see how this goes. Does that tonnage- it's certainly fluid. Does that include business? trash as well. No, we do, do we do any just residential. Yeah, it's just residential. Mm -hmm. well, so, what's your last name? Mickey, M C E W E. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Sandy. <laughs> yeah. 
So is it fair to say you're going to reassess it after a certain period of time? So yes. Yes. Uh, that's and we were basing saying. that on a 30 gallon bag, not on a 13 gallon kitchen bag. Right. I understand. Yeah. So I, that's why I'm saying you're saying yeah, I got I can do six 30 gallon bags, but I, and I said when you come up, it's like well, we're yeah, we'll going to the kitchen. Yeah, I'm 13 gallon bags. Bag. I really hate to go buy 30 gallon bags just to to throw two bags in this. Um, yeah. For the gentleman to go pick to pick up because I really don't think him you know, picking that up and throwing it in the trucks. The, the issue. Um, what I, I'm uh, curious since you're here, I'm just, what is your thoughts on doing something like with the totes and what some of the other communities are doing? Well, I lived in, in Wilkesboro for a good three or four years and um, had totes there. I mean, that's what I use. I had two two large totes um, that you would get from like in Wilkesboro. So I mean, I'm maybe probably the only resident on my street that actually has actual totes to to use. Um, the other ones are going to be the little flimsy things you get from Walmart, but I mean, I understand the city not wanting to supply the totes. I mean, because that's a humongous cost, and and um, but at the same time, but I you, also don't, you also you also don't have to put a stipulation on how on you could if you made the residents provide totes. Most people have something they're putting their trash in out on the side of the road, so I mean, you could you could provide one or two totes, um, no larger than this. Um, to put your trash in. And that, that may be something we, we go back to because like I said we're, we're just trying to feel through right now to see okay. what will work and what won't work and because uh, I didn't like Did you say it. those totes were required in Davis County? No, for, the, for the homeowner to? Yeah because the garbage truck actually grabs a tote. It's, uh, it's a special tote yeah. so that they can pick up. Sorry I interrupted you. Um, my second kind of comment is I appreciate your leaf pickup that I learned about last year um, that you do I don't know three times a year in the in the late fall uh, one comment I have for you it, it kind of goes along with the trash I mean last year I ended up bagging most of my leaves because oak trees leaves don't fall till after December okay. and um, yeah, is, there any, is there any <laughs> option to kind of make a late pick up to where you could capture oak leaves for the for the leaf pickup rather than have them all right there in November or December time frame. I, right now I think our leaf pickup this year is going to be November 2nd through uh, December the 18th uh, which would be there before Christmas. Uh, do you think it needs later than that? I mean, yeah, I, mean, well, I, I, was, I was back like my oak leaves in, in January and February. Yeah, the yeah, first February you look at they're all gone. Well, yeah. With with any with any diesel equipment like the leaf bag, the colder the weather gets, the more likely it's not going to start. <laughs> so, so you know, weather dictates a lot. But even we certainly uh, something we can talk about to see. Well, you know, if, if we might try it this year, like in the late February, early March, he, he, he can just call us know, you know, just to see. Time. And we, well, we can put it out that it's available. So, yeah. My my problem with mine is I've got a ton of oak trees, but I'm. 400 foot deep and I'm not going to rip into the street. <laughs> I'm lazy like that. Well, I, I got a bagger, so I started doing that. And uh -huh. I was like, well, then I read the, the pickup, so I, I did the leaf pickup for the first group, and then I was like, I still got leaves. Crap. <laughs> and you can't get anybody with the leaf bag, I mean, here in Beaverdale, where I couldn't find anybody last year that was going to pick them up. I thought I was going to get lucky. I thought I was going to find out Home Depot had that in their rental fleet, but they took it out. Mm -hmm. I, thought, I can get one of those. One of those put them on my own lawnmower pickup. I'd like to buy one, but I just hate to spend that kind of money, too. Okay. Thank you for coming. We appreciate it very much. Sir? Yes, I, uh, Ms. Robinson said it. Your decisions affect everybody that's in Beaver Dam. A uh, good example of a 95-year-old lady that bagged her trash in Walmart bags. They took the six Walmart bags and left the rest. That's not right, guys. I don't care what it is. Evidently, we do lease the dump to Republic, am I correct? Mm -hmm. Why aren't we getting a deal for our trash? That's what I'm saying. Dude. You know, I mean, are we paying full price to take it to our own landfill, even though we're leasing that to Republic? Oh, it, it's still a private entity. Their lease is with the county. So, and it has nothing to do with the city, and we negotiate with pricing on it. And right. But I'm just saying that's the same thing. Your all's decision does affect other people. What's you your know, name? and I, David Foots, F O O K S. 
And with him on the sewer, I had a blowout up the road. Of course, I had to fix it. You don't find nobody in eight to 12 hours. It took me a day and a half to get a jetter to come in there and fix it. Okay. Of course, we didn't use the water or anything because we didn't want to make more of a mess. But, you know, I mean, by finding somebody, you know, it's, things are expensive enough and we all have problems. And by doing that, it's kind of hard on people. And, and, and that extra, that maybe needs to be 24 hours. That, right. Again, that's just something we just, this is right. our first discussion on it tonight. Right. And so. I was just letting you all know sure. because I've gone through it. But what upset me was the six bag for this lady. You know, I mean, if she can't carry it, she can't carry it. She ain't going to carry a 30, you know, a 30 gallon bag. And I'm sure she uses more than one or two, you know. But she's got a garbage can. All they have to do is actually pick the garbage can up and dump it in the truck. But they'll reach in and get the bags. It's, it's just that, you know, I, I just thought it was kind of, you know, I mean, with, with residents that's been here all their life, I've been here 32 years. I consider this home. I'm from Lexington. Uh, our trash pickups, we had Herbie the Kirby. It was a tote. Mm -hmm. we, we paid nothing. Of course, it was in our taxes, but whatever went in the tote, there was no question at Christmas time if there was boxes. We're all kind of getting scared now. Is who's going to wait? Here we're limited. When are they going to start weighing the bags? You, you see what I mean? Well, there's got to be a point. That's, that was that was an idea that was thrown out by one community. Right. So. And I'm 55 years old, 56 years old. And if I can carry the bags to the curb, the young boy that's on the truck, he ought to be able to put them in the back. But when is that going to be an issue? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's that's all I've got. But, you know. And like I said, we're open to any suggestions, right. and I appreciate right. In fact, I, you bring up the thing with the lady with the, the Walmart bags, and I'd be just like you. That would upset me, too. And, you know, and, I, and like I said, we, our, our thinking was we were, we'd all be able to kind of work through this together. But like I say, then you turn up on social media and you got people videotaping you and it's like one, two, and counting your back. It's like, and then you see, pick I up. Just, yeah, I just, yeah, I know. She told me I, I was just, you know, I mean, I've been here, like I said, over 30 years. Never had a speeding ticket in this town. Never been to one of these meetings. When she told me that, I was just, there's, there's, there's absolutely no reason for that. Because like you said, your decisions affect everybody. You know, and just like with the sewer, things is going to happen. Mm -hmm. it, it is what it is. I got a call at work from from Beaver Dan. Said it blew out. So what I do? Try to find somebody. Go down here and uh, get the uh, first number I could. Hundred and seventy five dollars for his snake wouldn't even reach it. So I had to go across the river to get a jetter to come up here and clean it out. So I mean, this stuff ain't cheap, and and it's it's the sewer. My line. Runs a half a mile. I mean, it runs forever, and it's like it's under asphalt and everything. And it's like, how would you even repair it? But it's, to my understanding, I'm responsible all the way to work dumps in. Mm -hmm. So sad. how did it even get there in the first place? So I mean, if I ever had a problem, you're talking probably twenty thousand dollars, cut the asphalt, put a new line in. I mean, it's just it's it's crazy. I mean, I don't know what engineers developed this. <laughs> but they weren't right. There's, there's just no way. Have your neighbor call in here. Huh? Have your neighbor call about a trash. Okay. We do help and assist only. Uh, we have a few that we actually go to the cardboard pick up on. But you can ask this man. I'm a complex. I mean, it just, it just hit the wrong way. Exactly. And if she ain't gonna fight for herself, somebody has to. But you don't it's know how much we appreciate you coming because we would have never known. Right. So, and, and, you know, that's what we want people to come to these meetings. And that's like social media. They blow us so out of It's just unbelievable. You yeah. know, we, we, have, we have, I don't know, like 10 or 12 people that we go to the car for. Right. right. Because they're 85, nine years old. They've been in a car wreck. They're disabled. And we, we do help. Right. And, you know, when we went from 24 ton and picking up in two days to 33 ton picking up in two days. And my guys that are on the back of the truck, one's a 30 year old and one's a 52 year old, you know, that's, you take 33 ton, that is 66,000 pounds. That is, can, might break work. Can you get the neighbor's name for him instead of making her call? She'd rather not be. Okay. Well, and, and I, and you, I don't all, like you all can talk. I didn't mean so, in the old yeah, yeah, Because, you know, I mean, people, people are paranoid today. You know, I mean, she, she just didn't want to say anything. And I said, I'll talk for you because. I'm going to say something about the trash myself because 
you know, the week before, I didn't put it out. Wife's husband, I mean, wife's father, Jerry, chemo. Forgot it. We've all forgot it. But you know what? They didn't, all they took six packs. Then I had to take Wednesday and go to the dump and get rid of the other six. So it is what it is. So, I mean, you know, people's going to forget. I mean, unfortunately, we are human. Oh, I you took, know, and my wife was gone last week and I took ours out and it hadn't been going in three yeah, hours. I mean, I was just two of us, so what not? And I don't even know if I'm coming or going. If you happen to forget, call down here and talk to the ladies. Say, hey, I forgot my trash last week. We'll make a note. My guys will pick up the next one. Well, week. I did. I, you know, I did. I come down here, but, you know, well, well, I, couldn't get, I couldn't get a result, so I said I'll just come to the meeting, you know. Well, and it's so new. And you talk right. to the ladies in the office, they don't know how to resolve right, it. Right, right. We, and, and, and she's just only, you know, I mean, you know, I can't dump on her, you know, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Well, I appreciate I mean, that very you know, much. I mean, you, you got to be civil. A lot of people will. But you'd be surprised. I mean, it's just, you know, I mean, when you all start talking about the sewer, it's like, oh, my God, I just had this happen not too long ago. And generally, I mean, it cost me over $700 to get all mine done. Thank God I had the money or I'd be sitting in a house with no sewer. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I mean, it, people don't understand. Money is tight for everybody right now because of Kobe and everything. You know, I wasn't born with a silver spoon. I've had to work all my life. But the thing about it is, is, you know, sometimes, you know, that's, I, I do got to give you all credit because one of the guys out here at Pearl, thank God, you know what I mean? I know him, you know, he can help me along the way. But, you know, as in where I need to go, what I need to do, or whatever. But, you know, you get that call at 2 o'clock in the afternoon from a girl down here. It's like, oh, I, you know, I, I just can't leave work for that. So, you know, but I got results, thank God. But we're tied with other people. So, what is it? Uh, everybody's affected with the river down, you know, I mean, downstream. Downstream and, and upstream. Upstream, too. <laughs> so, you know. Well, I, I echo what Sandy said. We appreciate you coming in and talking because, like I say, so much of this stuff we wouldn't know. And this is one of the largest turnouts we've had in a long, long time. And see, that's surprising. For a city you know, I mean, you should. And, and, and I'm just as guilty because this is the first time I've ever been here in 30 years. So, you know, I mean, until it hits home. But what do you mean, David? It surprised me, too. <laughs> <laughs> he came on, it's like, no one coming? Nah. No one and then also, keep in mind, you can always leave messages with the girls that answer yeah. for the commissioners or the mayor to call. But you see, that's, we, we occasionally do get notes from residents to call. You know, and, and like we were talking about how much tonnage we do go to the dump. I mean, we lease it to them. We, we can make whatever we want. You know, I worked in coal mines, believe me. You know, I mean, so, you know, I mean, I, I thought it was all over. Well, a lot of it is just labor. You know, I mean, would you rather pick up six bags or 30 bags laying all over the place? So, you know, I mean, six bags, yeah. But, uh, I mean. Now that's a, that, that's county out there. That's Dave Johnston. And they do. I don't know who else besides. Are you talking about the landfill? The landfill. Yeah, and I think that's a long-term lease, so I don't think that they can go back. And but I know well. But they get. I know we've got rates with Hartford and Beaverdam. I know. I'm assuming. I think they do Central City and yeah, yeah. some other. Oh places yeah, everything well. that you can imagine. And every place is hauled from Bowling Green everywhere. I mean, you just can't imagine. I actually worked for Republic one time, so I know where it comes from. Yeah. So you know, probably I mean, people would cringe if they knew where it all came from. Oh yeah. But I know we do have a special rate. Our rate is not what anybody right. would get going out there. Right. In fact, our rate, I'm maybe speaking that line, I think our rate's even better than some of the private haulers because it is municipal. Okay. But yeah, like I said, I'm just speaking to another woman and well, since she was talking about sewer rate to throw it into so Oh absolutely. You know, I mean, it is what it is, you know. Well so. we appreciate it. Anybody have anything else? We do have to go into closed session on a personnel issue, so and, and you're welcome to stay. I don't. We may be a 15 minute, it may be an hour. We never know. 15 minutes. Depends on how long winded Larry gets or Sandy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are we going to close session? Larry talks so much, where it's all right. You know? Second. Okay, I'll stay. We'll see in a few minutes. If not, thank you very much for coming. We do appreciate it. Okay, well. There was no business conducted in closed session, and how far, how long were we in there? We were longer than it should have been. <laughs>
I don't know. I don't know. Well, near as long as usual. <laughs> no, I, I never look. It's 736, so I don't no, know what time No it business was conducted, and like I said, we really have nothing else to do. So, unless someone else has something to bring in. Okay. We're going to discuss the Kitty King. Yeah. Okay, back up on that. There, she, she, they're needing a letter for the lots that they're wanting to develop. And she, the letter is just stating that we have no inflow or run out problem at that area and that we can accept the letter. Now, the regional wastewater will also have to do the same. Uh, I would like to, to try to talk to her and Keith about rerouting this. Yeah, she's fixing it for eight months, and there's a potential that open up for a whole lot more. But my suggestion is if they just absolutely don't want to because of the expense to, uh, you know, we, they want us to take over a lift station that's only taking care of eight properties. That seems to be excessive. But uh, my comment was okay, set up a escrow account with X amount of dollars <coughs> for a 10 or 15 year period of time to take care of any maintenance and any you know, failures on it, and then at the end of the whatever time period, 10 or 15 years, whatever's left goes back to the developer. Well, if you agree to it, you know, what, what I'm afraid we may get into is if we don't do that, is the eight lots is not going to generate enough the revenue to oversee them. It's just, it, it, it may pay for electric bill, but it's not going to pay for the man hours and, and all the repairs if we don't do it. Because it's sad putting in a lift station for eight lots. Yes. You know, I just hate to be, if that to be the decision, hold up what could possible come by quickly, if there's only one business, all right? What I've heard? Correct. But if that kind of hold up other coming in, but well, I hate to be the say, no, I don't want to do that. But if they'll help you, then I guess that's something we can look at if you put an escrow account. Let's approach with that and see what. Okay. Why would, why would she not in for a gravity line in other way? Why would she deny that? When you affect Kitty King's pocketbook. Well, I know that, but I mean, <laughs> it can't be that much more <laughs> They They had it around where they was going to do all eight lots at one time, and her sister-in-law was going to pay for it. When they, they got the prices in, it was too high, they backed it up and going to do phase one, phase two. Over eight lots. Over eight lots. It did take months. Eight lots. And the thing is, you have to have the lift station for the first block number one. So yes. you're, the bulk of your money is being already been spent. Yeah. But I know what she's going to do. She's not going to black off the street. She's not going to. And we will not take the street in. Because I think they're wanting us to do that too, aren't they? I haven't heard it yet. But I'm sure it's going to Yeah, I heard she come in on that over at Keith's office. Because they want to be when they're done. They walk away from it. They have nothing to take care of. She never developed anything on her own, has she? Yeah. Well, when, she's piecemeal, isn't it? When the car wash was being built, we tried to talk her into putting a lift station across the south Walmart Drive. That way, to catch all the sewer from the old brown temperature control down. That's a logical place. And Which the, was all hers. The gravity, yeah. the gravity could have went all the way past Burger King. It could have went to this set property. It could have gravity did with that one lift station. Plus, you take care of all the properties she owns across. But mm -hmm. her, her comment was. Uh, if they want sewer, they'll get put sewer in there to it. But now she's finding, people, saying. she's finding people that just want to buy lots from her. Unless they're sewer. I don't know what to do on that one. What, what do we need this uh, approval? Let's go ahead and start with it. What, what you got? I think you just need to give her a letter, I guess. I think right now, let's... Because that letter is not saying we'll take anything. That letter is just that we have... It says that we have... We can, we can handle the envelope. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but I'm just telling around. Something else kind of off record too. Uh, the next water site, uh, I haven't talked to the behavioral health place, but that may be something that may have to be uh, condemned. Uh, the gentleman I used to talk to with it was Kenneth Stein, the uh, basketball official, and he, he has left them, so. Well, yeah. Huh? He did, I didn't know that. Yeah. So, so I was talking to their lawyer, and she said they weren't sure if they would, would want to sell or not. But there is a old road or alley that's on plats that goes right up to the property where we're, we're wanting, and all we're needing is a thirty by thirty spot. Yes, well, that water uh, well, that's where we looked at years ago. Yes. <coughs> so, yeah. if, it, if this well here is going to produce 
25 to 40 percent for the amount of the county now. And if we can get another one like that, you know, our, I have this ethics that all oh, the training will it give you any KLC hours? I think it does because Andrew really does it. Because I got, I, I know I had the ethics through the seminar we just went through. This is they've got that certified city of ethics program, and that's what this is. We're we were one of the first ones to even do it. Good. But we're up for renewal. Actually, we're out of compliance because we should have been already knowing back by winter we were scheduled in March and it didn't work so but they kind of look over that we're still considered one so yeah I was at a well, that little that KLC seminar we went through online wasn't nothing compared to what I went through the next week was stadium another uh, a missionary mission outfit now they put me through the mail for three days. They're a church planting outfit, but they also have 90% success rate, which is unheard of. The success rate right now is about uh, eight out of 10 churches will fail within the first 10 years. Five will fail, will fail within the first year. But Stadia's got a 90%. If you saw what they put those kids through, you'd understand why. Anything else? Yeah, we'll take that. All right. I'll make a motion and you second it. Whatever.